Hey guys, it's Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to take a look at a very old, mysterious glitch that a lot of people say broke Halo 1. So, many years ago, I covered this in a previous video, which I called it the glitch that did nothing. But a lot of people did speculate that it was simply just a game-breaking glitch that would softlock your game on Halo 1. But... As it turns out, it is actually not a glitch at all. So before I get to the explanation, let me just quickly show you guys what the glitch was again. The quote unquote glitch. So if you were to drive out of the map on the mission Halo, shortly after you clear the first tower and Foe Hammer drops your Warthog off, if you drive out the map and you go too far out, eventually you'll hit a point where your Warthog just stops moving. In fact, uh, like, it doesn't matter, like, what graphics mode you're in or anything, but, like, it's just the game becomes unresponsive. Or at least the Warthog becomes unresponsive. Or you, you can't even get out of the Warthog at all, either. You, you're just stuck here. And that is why a lot of people said the game has softlocked and that there is nothing you could do at this point. The game is broken. Well, like I said, it is actually not a glitch. It is, in fact, a feature of the game. So, in the game files, in the mission script, there is a script by Bungie here that is actually called Go to Hell Beach. So that is uh, actually what it's called. That's the actual name of the function. And in this function, there's two parts to it. The first part here is actually, it tells the game so that when a player walks into a certain zone, which is out of the map in that case, uh, it, it activates the function called Go to Hell, which disables player input sets it to zero, which in this case means false. And then the second part is that it does the opposite. If the player leaves the zone, then it does the opposite and just lets players have uh, control again. It enables player input again. So that is why if you do, the, if this uh, glitch, quote unquote, or this function happens to you on, on, on like a cliff or like an incline, it'll lock you up still, but the, your warthog, the physics still apply and the warthog would just slide back into the map and once it's back in the map shortly after it's past the the zone where the you know the glitch occurs then it will you'll regain control and that's uh that's just how it works in the script the two parts the first part is once you go into the zone outside the map the game locks you up but if for some reason you manage to get back out of the zone then the game returns control to you and it's not just like the Warthog controls. It, it, it's like completely everything. All player input, all player control is completely disabled once you're out in the zone. And it doesn't matter if you're the driver or the passenger or the gunner. Everyone, every player that comes down to the zone immediately gets locked up. You can of course still look around, but that's just the camera looking around. You're, not, you're actually not like in control. You can see like the turret doesn't even rotate at all. It's literally just my camera rotating around. So at this point, if you have no way for the Warthog to go back to the map by itself, then you have technically broken your game and softlocked it, especially if you got a checkpoint. So you have to, you'd have to restart the mission at that point. Uh, that's probably why people speculate that this was just a glitch that softlocked your game. When in actuality, it is just a built-in feature, like a little secret script function by Bungie to punish players for getting on the map. This was basically before the days of death barriers outside the map or 10 second kill barriers and stuff like that. I guess you could say it's like a prototype to all that stuff and Bungie was just testing it out on this one map. But yeah, so that's basically what the uh, mystery glitch that broke Halo 1 is. It's just a little hidden feature by Bungie. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it to be interesting, then as always, make sure to leave a like. I'll leave a thousand comments. If there's anything else you want to check out, look into, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.